hey what's going on guys i'm just going to show you how to make this material really quick it's really nice for some sci-fi scenes and i'm using it in a little short film i'm making right now actually but yeah let's get straight into it so the setup is really simple um all you're going to need is two ambient occlusion nodes a couple color ramps a couple mix nodes math node and you're set so to start it out go ahead and add yourself an ambient occlusion node this is going to basically create a mask around your edges like this and then set the distance to 0 0.05 then grab yourself a color ramp and then you're going to basically make the mask more contrasting so bring the white in up to like a 0.555 and then the black to a 0.827 then we're just going to do that exact same thing again except this time we're not going to check outside so on the first ambient occlusion make sure you check this inside button right here so that it happens inside the object then this outside one is going to cause the ambient occlusion to happen between objects. And so it'll happen in between them like this rather than just on the edges. Because if we deselect inside, obviously we have no edges anymore. So after that, just add this one and then I change the distance to 0 0.1. Then take your color ramp and I'm using the exact same values as the previous color ramp. So you can just duplicate it with Shift D and that'll be awesome. And then you want to mix these together by adding them. So just Shift A, search for your mixed color node and then or actually a mix node and then switch it to color and you have your mix node switch it to add and then it'll say one plus one and then it'll add all the masks together then for the emission color um you can give yourself a color ramp and i just assigned a value here but what's really cool is if you want you can actually assign uh random values if you add an object info node like this and then plug random into the factor it'll give a random value to each object with this material. And obviously in the background, it works with particle systems too, except currently I don't have this plugged in. So I'll plug this color into here and it gives everything a random object, even in particle systems. So yeah, that's really awesome. Um, I'm gonna use just the standard value node and plug it in right here. And I just have this set up so I can change easily. But if you want, you can just use the mix node like this. So with your mask, make sure your color A is black. Then color B can be whatever color you want. I'm gonna recommend you always have a value of one and a saturation of one. It'll just make all the colors pop more. Then I plug that into the emission down here, like this. And then for the multiply node, I just have the mix plugged into it. And then this will control the strength of the emission. So 1000 is obviously brighter, zero is nothing. Uh, 5000 will make it really bright. And you can do all that. I just kept it at a value of about 100 and something. So that was pretty good. But yeah, that's how you make the material. Just make sure you plug the mask into the base color up here, because that's going to give you the black color on the outsides. You can also technically plug in this mix value into the base color, and it'll give you the same effect. But I kind of like the way the other one looks better, because it's almost a pure black if we plug in like that. But yeah, I just wanted to give that quick tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.